God chose you to be special, not to ride by with your window down and look at us and cut your beards and go, roll the window up. That's why things are happening to us in our community. Bring it out! That's Bring why the white man is killing you and not giving a damn. Because he know who you are. But you don't know who you are. And you don't give a damn about who you are. But we come out here to bring the truth to our people. That we are God's chosen people. Read that again. That's right. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God chose us to be special. God chose you to be special. That's why he created you. To, uh, in a special way. Right. That's why he got your skin tone a special color. Right. That's why he got your hair a special texture. Right. We are the greatest thing God created. That's right. And the greatest thing God created is running around trying to be like a dog. Yeah. Marching in the streets. Free. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now that's say equal to. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God created us to be above all people that are on the face of the earth, young man, over there listening. But you know why we ain't on the uh, uh, above all people? Because the Lord God gave us laws and statutes. Give me uh, give me uh, Deuteronomy 11 and 26. Bring it up. Bring it up. This is why we're not above all people. Because the word of God come out, and you got people, our people, that will break the Sabbath day. And they rather make their little buck than keep God law. God created the world for your sake. You can be a ruler on this earth. You don't have to stand on the corner and sell t shirt You can be a princess on this earth. You know what I mean? You can be a king on this earth. That's right. But you got to come back and do what God say do. You're not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven doing what you want to do. That's right. It's going to be that type of party. When the, when the black man, when we rule the rulership, if you break the Lord's Sabbath day, we're going to put you to death. That's right. It ain't going to be no grace and mercy no more. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 26. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. So, he said, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse, sister. A blessing and a curse, sister. Read. A blessing. If ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. He said a blessing if you do what this Bible say do. You can be a ruler on this earth if you do what this Bible say do, but what? And a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. But turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which ye have not known. So he said he was going to curse you if you go after other gods. If you go after the white man God, he going to curse you. Okay? So that's why we got to sit on the corner now. Instead of having our own stores, instead of being a rulership, now we got to hustle on the side. We got to try to hustle on the Lord's Sabbath day. All right? Give me Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out, huh? We got to keep the Lord's day holy. That's right. You can't do everything you was going to do uh, Sunday through Friday, then want to do it again on Saturday. No. We got to keep it holy. Holy means different, means separate. It's time for us to wake up. If Black Lives Matter, you will pack up all this stuff over there, put it back in your car, and go home and say, I love the Lord. If Black Lives right. Matter. Yeah. But you know what? Black Lives don't matter to black folk. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God said to remember the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. He said to do what? To remember. Why he say remember? Because he knew you was going to forget. He knew that you was going to be brought to a land and your culture, your heritage, your, your everything was going to be stripped out of you. He said that you got to remember. Today we bring it back to your remembrance that today is the almighty God of Israel day. Right. This is not your day. And to do what? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So you had six days to get out here and sell and hustle. Bust your ass and try to get some money to pay your bills, but what? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It said, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord our God. That's, That's right. right. It's the Sabbath of the Lord our God. That's why our people are getting gunned down in the streets because we have forgotten the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. This is not the day to do your pleasure. This is the day to do the Most High God's work. That's what we out here doing, trying to wake our people up. Right. We're trying to tell you that destruction is coming to America. Right. If you right. keep on breaking the Lord's Sabbath day, you're going to get burnt up. That's in the destruction right. that's coming to America. It ain't no black power, it's Israelite power. That's it's right. time for the black woman to wake up. Right by with her hand out the one to talk about black power. What the white woman heard in her head.
here. You're talking about black power. What the hell is this? Break free. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Give me Nehemiah chapter 10 and 31. Time to tell y'all straight. Y'all better be glad. Jesus is Christ, the black Messiah. He came and died for your sins. You better be glad he came and gave you grace and gave you mercy. He yeah, gave man. you time enough to repent. He gave you time enough to hear this message and repent. We always going to be on the corner of Mars and Pop Store. We not going to never own no BP. We not never going to own our own liquor store or you U-Haul. You know what I'm saying? We not going to never own that. They shove us in the corner and say, nigga, watch cars. They shove us in the corner and say, hey, nigga, here, sell these t-shirts. That's right, bring it out. Sell 30 socks. Yeah, they, they push us in the corner and say, sell 30 socks for $7. Yeah. That's right. They give us a good bargain. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where of any victuals on the Sabbath day. And if the people of the land bring where of any victuals or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. To do what? To sell. To do what? To sell. So if the people bring you anything to sell, black men, on the Lord's Sabbath day, read. That we would not buy of it, buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. That's and right. that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction uh, of every debt. So it said, look, it said that what? We were not going to buy on the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. So if you love God and Black Lives Matter, you should not be buying on the Lord's Sabbath day. That's no. right. Because you can't disrespect God. And then when the white man, God used the white man to put his hands on us, and then you want to holler Black Lives Matter. You yeah. can't do that. You cannot do that. Black lives do not matter. If black lives matter, you will do what this Bible say do. But y'all do not want to do what this Bible say do. Give me Psalms 52 and 3. Matthew 26. And one last scripture, man. Psalms 52 and 3. Psalms 52 and verse 3. Thou love is evil more than good. It said, it said that the black woman and the black man do what? Love is evil more than good. Y'all love doing evil more than you're doing good. Right. You love, you call good evil, you call evil good. And y'all love doing that. Right. Read. And lying rather than to, to speak righteousness. So y'all love lying rather than come out here and tell the people the truth. We come out here to tell y'all the truth. Right. That we are God's chosen people. That we are the Israelites. That you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. It's time for y'all to wake up. Give me Matthew 26 and 6. Bring it Talking about black lives matter, all lives matter. But y'all won't do nothing the Bible say do. That's right. You won't do nothing but what God say do. So God said your life don't matter. That's why God is putting you to death. Read what you got. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 6. Now when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, then came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. So we talking about a righteous black woman. How you doing, sister? How you doing? All right, you know who you are according to the Bible. Right before we go, because she walked around here. All right, do you believe in the Black Lives Matter movement? Do you believe in that? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? What is your nationality? What's your nationality? What's my nationality? Yeah. I am an Israelite, okay? Do you know your nationality? All right, let me ask you this. Let me make it simple. All right, you see yourself on the sign right here. All right, on this side, you're going to see what God called them. On this side right here, you're going to see what our slave master called them after they enslaved us. Now, what would you consider yourself according to your father on this side? According to my biological father, yeah. I would be an American black dog be a Jew. Yeah, you are an American black, so that makes you from the tribe of Judah. That's all, right. Right. all right, give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 15 right quick. All right, do you wonder why black people, we suffer in the conditions we suffer in? I know why. Huh? Why do we suffer? Because we brainwash. Give me a... Uh, it's a lot of things, not just one thing. Yeah. All right, watch this. The Bible's going to tell you why 
the Bible got our answers, okay? But we got to learn to listen to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? We got to learn to do what God say do. First step is you got to learn how to fear God and learn who you are, okay? Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. You hear what the Bible just said? Did you hear that? You want to read it again? I right, read it again. Listen to what the Bible said. There was a there was a Bible prophecy. He said what? Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So do you know what it means to discontinue from your heritage? That means one day you was not going to know who you are according to the Bible. Do That's you understand right. that? The Bible prophesied that you was going to discontinue from your heritage. You was no longer going to know that you was from the tribe of Judah. But you was going to think that what? You was African American, okay? That you was going to think that you was a Negro. That you were just black, okay? So the Bible just said that you was going to discontinue from your heritage, That's okay? Right. Do you know what your heritage is? Give me Sirach. My okay, well, I'm gonna give you your Harry. Give me some rock 17 and 11, I think. Watch this. Look, this is our heritage. This, this Bible is your heritage. Watch this. But you was gonna discontinue from it. Watch this. Just pay attention. Sirach chapter 17, verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. He gave us what? Knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. So he gave us the law of life for inheritance. Give me uh, Isaiah. Okay, chapter 8 and verse 16. He gave us a law for our heritage, okay? Watch this. Jim, I mean, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 16. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. He said, do what? Bind up the testimonies. Seal the law before my disciples. So we are here to seal the law into your minds, okay? They did on that. Uh, yeah, read that. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. To the law and the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, not according to this word, so the law is the word of, of God, okay? So that's your heritage, okay? All right? Now go to, Deut go, go to Deuteronomy 28. Let me show you how we know we're from the tribe of Judah right quick, okay? Yeah. All right? Let me show you how we know we are the children of Israel, all right? And we are, you are from the tribe of Judah, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, did you just understand that? You want me to, okay, listen. All right, this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. He told the children of Israel, he said, look, if y'all don't do what I say, or what God said do, he said all these curses was going to come upon you and overtake you. Do you know what curses are? What are curses? This testable, evil thing, bad things gonna happen to y'all if you don't do what I say. Give me 28 and 1. Verse 28. Okay. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it came to pass, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read that again. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not, I mean shall, shall hearken diligently. Okay. Read it one more time. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm to observe and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. So he told him, he said, if you do what I say do, all these what was gonna come upon them? Blessings. He said, he said, if you do what I say do, all the blessings, all the blessings and you gonna come upon you. If you don't do what I say do, he said all the curses, meaning bad and evil things. Now. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse uh, 32. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32. All right, we're going to read the curses. What he said was going to happen to the children of Israel, okay? This is, didn't happen to the whole world. This only happened to a certain group of people. All right, read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So he said one of those curses, he said our sons and daughters will be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? It happened to us black people, not only black people, the Hispanics and the Native American That's people were right. given to another group of people. Right. When did that happen to us? During slavery. Alright? Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Meaning that you was gonna cry and want your baby back when they was given to another people. You was gonna cry, your eyes was gonna fail with longing for them all the day long. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hands. But it wasn't going to be no might in our hands to get our children back. 
That's how you know that we are the tribe of the Israelites, okay? I'm reading to you these curses. Give me verse 46. Alright? Read up. Give me verse 46. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 46. And they shall It says, and they talking about these curses. This is how we know, read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. It says these curses are gonna be upon us for a sign. You know what a sign do, don't it? What does a sign do? It gives you warning and what else? It tells you where you at. Just like we know we at Lamar and Sims right now because we read the street sign. You know you at the BP because it's the it's a sign right there. So these curses was gonna be on you for a sign of identification. Alright? That's why it says your sons and daughters will be given to another people. Alright? Give me verse 40, uh give me 43. Verse 43. Thus the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. This is how we know that we are the Israelites because the strangers, meaning the other nations, was going to get up above us very high. Do you consider us to be at the uh, at the top of society or the bottom? Watch this right here then. And thou shalt come down very low. He said the strangers, meaning the Chinese, the Arabs, the Africans, the, uh, the Europeans, he said they was going to be above you very high, but you was going to come down very low. Now, why do we come down very low? To make sure you follow us. Because we don't realize who we are. We don't realize who we are and we did what? Read, read verse 15 again. Verse 15. Read it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay, hearken means to listen or obey. So, I'm reading you why this happened to us. It says, for if thou wilt not listen or obey to the voice of the Lord thy God. Where is the voice of the Lord thy God? How can you hear God speaking to you, huh? In our hearts and our minds. No. All right. Do the what? What you say, Lance? But I'm just saying. The word of God. The word of God is the Bible, okay? The Bible has been in existence for 7,000 years. We've been on the world. We've been on earth way longer than that. So that's why I don't feel like I should believe. You don't feel, you don't feel like this is happening to you? Listen, keep reading. It's not about what's happening to me. That's and his statutes that I command thee this day, that all these curses to come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, for our disobedience, all these curses. This is how I'm showing you that the Bible is the only true book. He said, all these wow. curses. No, the Bible Why? Is seven okay, listen. Years. Name me another book that says this right here. Go back to uh, verse 43. The Quran has 43. No, the Quran ain't got none it's of this in there. Of listen, other listen. Books that has, verse 43. That the I'm giving your, your whoever ever told you that you was from the, the Bible. Listen, the Bible said that you was gonna discontinue from your heritage. All that comes from Egyptian heritage, mythology. So. All uh, of that is derived. That's from a lie, sister. Mythology. Listen, the Bible said that you was How gonna discontinue. Lie, still there now. Because listen, the Bible said that you was gonna discontinue from your heritage. Okay, what? What? your heritage yeah. was the Bible. You have this. No. Give me Baruch chapter four and twenty-eight. No. No. I'm gonna show you what went away from the Bible. It's the only true book. I'm going to show you what's been tempered with. I can't get with that. Okay, watch this. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray. See, it was your mind to go astray from this Bible. Read. From God. From who? From God. From who? From God. See, it wasn't, it wasn't that the Bible was tempered with. Your mind has went astray from the Bible. From God. Okay, go back to uh, Deuteronomy. I'm showing you who you are according to the Bible to bring your mind back to who you are. The, the slave master, you the same book that you use in the, the slave, how you ever, did you know you was from the tribe of Judah? Have you ever heard the slave master read to you that? I, I'm going to show you how the slave, you know the slave master didn't write this book. Give me Revelation chapter uh, 13. Let me show you. If the slave master wrote this, he would have took this out. That's right. It's time for our people to come back to the Bible in the true form, okay? This is how you know that the white man didn't write the Bible. The white man only changed your mind about the Bible. Read. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Now I'm going to ask you, it says, he that leadeth into captivity, who led us into slavery? Who led us? Who? Europeans. Europeans. But watch what the Bible says. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. It says, he that leadeth into captivity, read, shall go into captivity. So where are the Europeans going? Into captivity. Okay, so why did they take that out the book if they wrote it? Right. Give me revelation. Yeah. Show the color of Christ. They took the Bible and taught us Christianity. I want you to understand this, sister. Okay. They took the Bible and taught us Christianity. They didn't teach us the Bible, take the Bible and teach us who we were. They took the Bible and taught us this right here. All right? Taught you that you was an African American. But you just learned today that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's what I'm trying right. to show you. Okay? They taught you Christianity. Along with this picture comes black on black crime. Okay? This is what they taught you. All right? Well, we're going to read you the truth. Why they didn't take this out the Bible if they 
if they so smart and they the greatest thing God created and they're God, why didn't they take this out of the book? Read. Yeah, 14. So uh, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So it's talking about the depiction of Jesus Christ. It said Jesus Christ had hair on his head was white like wool. So this man ain't got woolly hair. But the white man painted this picture. But he did not write this book. That's he said right. that Jesus Christ had woolly hair. Read. It's white as snow. It's white as snow. This man ain't got no hair white as snow, but he gave, he changed your mind into believing that was Jesus. Hold on, sister. Okay. Hold on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes blue. His eyes is a flame of fire. They changed your mind, sister. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. So he don't have brown skin. He got brown skin, so it was your mind to go astray, not the word. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. So you throw anything in a furnace, what color does it come out? It's going to come out black. So the white man changed our people's mind about the Bible. He didn't change not one word in the Bible. Yes. Read me 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 21. Read it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 2 Peter 1 and 20. Watch this right here. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. Who? Well, hold on, hold on. 2 Peter. Yeah, 2 Peter. My bad. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. It said no prophecy was of no any kind of private interpretation. Meaning nobody can't sit down and think about this, okay? Can't no man, the white man can't sit down and say that the other nation, 7,000, how many years you say? 7,000 7, years ago and said in 2016 that the white man was going to rule over you, the other nation was going to rule over you, that you, your sons and daughters were going to be given to another people. No man can sit down and do that, read. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, uh -huh. but holy men of God spake as they moved by the Holy Ghost. So the holy men of God, the prophets, was moved by God to write this. Go back to Deuteronomy right quick. 28. Let me show you who you are without a shadow of a doubt. I'm going to restore life back into you, okay? Don't fight against it. Just listen, okay? Hey, all right. All praise. For all praise. Three. Now, boy, go back to 43. 43. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high. So God said for your disobedience to breaking God's laws, okay? Our forefathers, our foremothers, they broke God's laws. God got angry with us. He said for your disobedience, he said the strangers, meaning the other nations, okay? That's around thee, what? Shall get above thee very high. And they was gonna get up above us very high economically, okay? Read. And thou shalt come down very low. Meaning we was gonna come to the bottom of society. The man that came right there, this happened in 2016. All right, keep reading. He shall lend to thee. He said that them other nations gonna be able to lend to you. Alright? You know what it means? When somebody lend you something, don't you? Alright, when you need a car, you gotta go to them to get a loan. You wanna go to school, you gotta fill out their faster and go to them. Alright? When you wanna go to uh get a house, you gotta go to them. He said, read that one more time. He shall lend to thee. He said that the other nations gonna lend us money. Read. And thou shalt not lend to him. He said that thou shalt not lend to him as a people. Alright? We ain't got no banks as a people. I ain't saying there ain't no black on bank on the deal. Okay. It's very, it's very little. You can count on, on hands. You know what I'm saying? Change. Yeah, they don't develop into no change like regions or uh, first state or, right. or something like that. Right, 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 right. All right, we, it, we got black on banks. All praise to the most high God. Right. But we talking about it's a people right here. Right. He read. And he shall be the head. And thou shalt be the tail. He said the other nation's gonna be the head and thou shalt be the tail, all right? So no man can sit down 7,000 years and write this. Give me verse 47. Uh, Watch this. So if, if, the, uh, if the white man wrote this book, guess what? Read. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So I'm reading this to you again because it's telling you why we didn't do it. He said, because we didn't serve the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Okay, read. For the abundance of all things. We didn't want to go to God for all things, read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. He said, now we got to go serve who? Our enemies. Now, this is how you know the white man didn't write this book. Because he said, now we got to go serve our enemies for what? Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger. In hunger meaning what? Now, if you want something to eat, you got to go to your enemies now. All right? Now, I'm going to ask you who the enemy is. You tell me if the white man wrote this 7,000 years ago, like you said. All right? He said, now, since you didn't want to do what God said, do. Now you got, hold on. He said, now you got to go to your enemies for food. 
All right, you got to go to McDonald's. Who own that? You got to go to Walmart. Who own that? You got to go to BP. Who own that? Bring it you got to go to the Chinese restaurant. Who own that? Now you got to go to your enemies. You got to go to the Arab store. Who own that? All right. So God said, now for your disobedience, you got to go to your enemies. Now I'm gonna ask you, who is God calling your enemy? All right. Let me ask you this: Who own uh, Walmart? When well, you got to go, who own Kroger? Who own Audi? Who own Costco? So God telling you now for your disobedience, sister, we got to go to our enemies. All right. Read for food and what? And in thirst. In thirst. So to get that bottle of water, hold that bottle of water. Up. I ain't got no, it ain't got no label on it. When you bought it, what label was on there? I don't know, but more than likely somebody that was going to By European, right? All right, so you want Coca-Cola, you got to go, we don't own that. You even want to go to that liquor store. Ain't a bottle in there owned by, the, uh, by us. Not one bottle, out of all them bottles, ain't one bottle owned by the black man or the Hispanic man, all right? So he said for your disobedience, you got to go to your enemy. For food, and I mean for, uh, yeah, for food and water and what else? And in nakedness. In nakedness, talking about your clothes. You have to go to your enemies now. You got to go to J.C. Penney. You want to go to Macy's. You want to go to Walmart. You want to go to Rainbow. You want to go to Maurice's to get your outfit. Who own those places? God said for your disobedience. All right. Now we got to go to our enemies. Read. And in want of all things. Read that one more time. And what? And in want of all things. So who we got to go to for the want of all things? If you have a baby, to be born in this world, who we got to go to? To get a social security card. To get a birth certificate, who we got to go to? We got to go to the government. Who is the government? The European. So the white man didn't write this book. You see what I'm saying? So we got to go to our enemies for everything. All right? For those shades on your face, on your head, you have to go to your enemy. For your, uh, your, your toenails to get uh, polished, whatever. To get those keys made, you have to go to your enemy. Anything you think of, now, we got to go to our enemy. Why, why are these things happening to us? Make sure you follow me. Why did these things happen to us? Because we are cursed for what? What do we do? We get OB, God's law, second commandment. That's right. Give me verse 68, and I'm going to show you. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, watch this. Yeah, yeah, finish it. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He said that same enemy. You said own all this thing we got to go to. And he said he was going to do what? He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He said he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You know what a yoke of iron is? All right, look at this picture right here. Who put this on our necks? See Django? You see that? He put that on our necks, sister. You understand that? You see what I'm saying? The white man done this to you. The Bible is the only true book. Yes, Do you understand when I say the Bible is the only true book now? No, 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 the Quran ain't going to talk about your slavery, your captivity. Give me verse 68. Bring it out, huh? Watch this. This is all in the Bible. This is how you know that the white man did not write this book. He right. If he was smart, he would have took this out. He would have took this out. But now we can read now, Master. We can read now. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said that he was going to bring us into Egypt again. You know when the Israelites in Egypt the first time? What happened? Do you know? All right, when we was in Egypt the first time, we built Egypt. We built up Egypt and made it the greatest dynasty, the greatest kingdom on earth. That's right. They done, if it wasn't for the Israelites, they wouldn't have never happened. The pyramids got built. Uh, huh. The pyramids, okay, got built by us. That was us in Egypt. And Moses uh, had to come free us, all right? All right. He said the Lord was going to bring us into Egypt again. Go to Exodus. Let me show you what Egypt meant. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. He said, out of the land of Egypt, read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. You know what bondage means, sister? All right, means slavery. Right now go back to go back to Deuteronomy. I'm going to continue showing you without a shadow of doubt that we are these people, because I don't want you to leave here and saying that you are African American no more. Right. Okay, you're going to know that you are Israelite from the tribe of Judah. All right? That's right. Because why? We fit these curses. Okay? Because God told the Israelites, He said, if God don't do what I say do, I'm going to put hands on you. Alright? And how did He put, let's show you how God said He's going to put hands on us. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said, how do we get over here, sister? On cargo slave ships. You're not going to find that in the Quran. The Christian church is not going to teach you that. That's you know, right. Colleges 
is not going to teach you that. Your high schools are not going to teach you that. They said that the Israelites were going to go into slavery, into bondage again on cargo slave ships. Who did that happen to? It happened to us. It didn't happen to the white man. He ain't been nowhere on no cargo slave ship. But he's talking about he the Jew. You know you was a real Jew? That's where Judah come from. All right? They took the word Judah and called it short. They say, I'm a Jew. So you are the real Jew. That's right. All right? Let me bring this reading there, number four. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see, thou shalt see it no more again. He said our homeland. We wasn't going to see it no more again. Have we as a people seen our homeland anymore again? No. Read. And there, he said, and there when you got out those slave ships, read. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. He said we was going to be sold unto whose sister? Read that again. And there, shall, then there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. No, friendly man, the white man. Unto your enemies. No, the man they think that wrote the book. Your enemies. See, if the white man wrote the book, he would have taken that out. When we got out the slave ship, we were sold unto our enemies. Okay? Yeah. This is the real, this is the real movement right here. Black like Lives Matter ain't no movement. Alright? All Lives Matter is not no movement. Alright? This is the real movement going on on earth right now. Right. God is waking up his chosen people. Right. God directed your footsteps over here, sister. He directed your footsteps. Who knows? Something bad was finna great to happen to you. But he directed your footsteps. He said, I'm finna wake her up. Because you've been asking for directions from him. And now he, he led you in the right direction. Now what you gonna do? That's the thing you gotta ask yourself. What am I gonna do now? God, when you leave here, you gotta thank God for running across the men of the Lord. Have you ever ran across the men reading the Bible on the street before? Have you? You ain't, you ain't never actually stopped. I've seen it in New York. In New York, right. Okay. Alright, so he said, read that again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. He said we were gonna be sold unto our enemies. We're gonna slave ship. They were we were waiting to be sold right there. Right. That? We were waiting to be sold. This is a transatlantic slave trade, what you watching right here. That's a triangle. They came and got us from, from Europe. You know what I'm saying? They came and got us from Africa and they took us to the Western Hemisphere. That's what that picture is showing you. He said we were gonna be sold unto our enemies, right? Mm -hmm. For bond men, for a bond man, read, and bond women. And a bond woman, they took you and they sold you. All right? Yeah, hold on, read. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall gonna be able to save you, gonna be able to buy you out of those conditions. Your family members gonna come buy you back for Master Williams, for Master Smith. This man has done, he has done a number on our people, okay? It's in the Bible what he was going to do to us. All right? Uh, where you at? All right, keep reading. And no man shall buy you. I'm showing you that we are the Israelites without a shadow of a doubt, sister. You never heard that before, right? Give me Acts 3 and 19. Okay. All right, watch this right here. You said, what should we do to be saved? I didn't ask that. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying what was your name. Okay, what's the next question right here? I'm going to tell you how to repent. We got to go back to the school and congregate, all right? I'll go to the school where y'all congregate there. Are you going to come to the school? Yeah. Okay. Right now? Yeah. Well, we're going to go right now we're gonna, when we leave here, all right? All right? Let me show you something uh, about coming to the school. Give me uh, Acts 3 and 19 or else we go. Read it up. Watch this right here. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So the scripture said that we have to repent. You know what it means to repent? I know what it means. Okay, to repent means to, uh, to ask for forgiveness from God and do what? And be converted. So what's going to convert you? What does it mean to be converted? To change. All right, to change. Now, I'm going to read to you what God said is going to change you. Something. Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. God said the law of the Lord is what? Perfect. It's perfect. He ain't got no flaws in it. Whatever God said do is cool. He said the law of the Lord is the law of the Lord is perfect doing what? Converting the soul. It says converting the soul. You so the law is what's gonna do what? Convert you, alright?
Shalom. Yes. I'm Elton Nathaniel. Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.